all in the presentation, creme brulee. I mean, oh yeah, but I mean, you know, they just come out, it's got the sugar top, but so check it out. Cream, vanilla bean, sugar. I'm steeping it up to a scald. Then, egg yolks, sugar. This is the vanilla bean here. And what people don't realize is that you have to split the vanilla bean and then scrape it. That's where all the seeds are in there. See, like that? Oh, yeah. You ought to smell it in here. You ought to call your local cable company and complain you don't have smell-o-vision. <laughs> now, I want to temper, temper this. Why I'm doing that is because if I added the egg yolk and sugar mixture into there, we'd have scrambled eggs. This is gonna be tempered now, where you add this in slow, you see? No scrambled eggs. All right, watch this now. Presentation. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna strain this. Then, this side over here, we're gonna use these little ramekins like regular creme brulee, you're gonna fill them up about almost to the top, but not quite to the top. There's like a little lip sort of on it. Now, to my left, and you see I have it in this pan, in a roasting pan, because we're gonna use a water bath. That's what it's called. So that it slow cooks 300 degrees. See all the vanilla bean in there? Oh, yes. I got the same base except different presentation. I'm going to use this sort of casserole. Pour this in here. But I got it in a roasting pan too. See, I just kind of swirl. Get all those vanilla beans you can. All right, now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this to the oven. 300 degrees. What I do, folks, is this. I take it to the oven without the water in the pan. You see? Smart. Take the rack out a little bit, put the pan in here, okay? Then I take my hot water, okay? And I bring that to the oven, okay? See? I bring the hot water to the oven here. That way I don't have like the water spilling inside of my creme brulee. So I got a water bath working here. You want to do it about a third of the way up to the ramekins. Okay. Put it in, 300 degrees. It's going to take about an hour. When the creme brulee's hour and 10 minutes, depending on your oven, come out. Let it cool. Just let it get room temperature. It's best if you can, when they cool, then refrigerate them overnight for the best creme brulee. The best is the old sugar crust. You use raw sugar, sprinkle on top. Folks, the other people make a big mistake by trying to add too much sugar to the crust, okay? You just wanna just sprinkle. Look, see what I'm doing here? If you get too much in there, you're gonna have to take some of it out because that's what's gonna give it the nice crust. So you get your little torch. Look at that. Perfect, right? Now, so that's one presentation right there on the creme brulee. I did the same thing. If you're gonna do it for like a family style dinner, you can do the same sugar crust like this. And that's the other presentation of the creme brulee, right? Small, big, but watch this. You can also take your favorite, before you sugar it, you could take your favorite cookie, like this is my favorite cookie, and you can just kind of do a little spoon of that creme brulee on a cookie. You see that like that? Then you could just take the sugar. We'll do a few on these here, okay? A little bit of that spoon on that cookie, little sugar. So you could do a kind of presentation like this.
Then, what I like to do is take the cookie on a little plate. It's all in the presentation. <laughs> take a little cookie like that. A little mint 